Okay, this is the Salter Harris classification, and this is the best image I've found on the internet, which I really like. So the mnemonic is uh, Salter, S-A-L-T-R, as I've outlined below. You, but you need to make sure that when you're presenting uh, the classification that you name it one through five. That's often a, a mistake. People will say, oh, this is a type S or a type L. No, it's one through five, okay? Make sure you get that. So type one is slipped, S for slipped. It's through the physis. You get separation um, through the physis, except for the periosteum. It's often in young kids. Two is A for above. Yeah, this is when you get this Thurston Holland fragment, which I have just posted here. Thirsty boy in the country of Holland, or also known as the flag sign. And it actually kind of looks like a flag. So this is just my own mnemonic. And that's seen in triplane fractures in 12 to 15 year olds, as I've outlined here in the bottom right in red. Um, it's due to the circular ossification pattern of the distal tibia in a counterclockwise uh, manner from anterior medial and then counterclockwise from that, okay? And that's why you get this triplane fracture. Some of, the, some of that uh, growth plate has fused, but some of it has not, and that's why you get this uh, fragment above called the Thurston Holland fragment, okay, or flag sign. Now, in that one, it's easy reduction, and it's usually in, t uh, in 12 to 15 year olds, like I said. Uh, type 3 is lower. The fracture goes below the physis. You must align it because it's intraarticular but rare. Type 4 is through, through the uh, uh, above and below, okay, through the physis. It's surgical and you must align this one. And type 5 is ruined or crushed. It appears normal sometimes, but you have to be careful because that physis is now closed. Okay, and that's why I have this uh, picture, the salt around it to help you remember that, and the funny pictures. Remember S-A-L-T-R, there's no E, it's Salter, and you have to name it one through five.